Cool. Okay. So I'm going to assume we're sort of like restarting the stream. Uh, basically, we're talking about we're talking about view, and we're talking about view specifically from scratch. So there's already been two videos before this. So there's already about two hours of two hours of content already. So this is in a sense building on that, but it's also meant to be for beginners still. So you don't like if you'd missed it or you just didn't want to watch it for whatever reason, uh, this is fine. You can start here. Um, but, but yeah, so we're going to start basically with first understanding the significance behind view. A very, very simple example. It's not going to be pretty, but I just want to show you sort of the why. Why would you use view? And then we're going to build a couple of things together. Um, and I'll be monitoring questions regularly. So ask them at any time, ask them as often as possible. Um, the plan is to put this on YouTube after. So the more questions that are, at, that are asked right now, the more we can help uh, future viewers, which sounds really cool, future viewers, the more that we can help future viewers in the near or far future. So, so like really do not be shy um, at all. Okay, so first let's talk about why. Why would you need to use view? You don't. Um, the thing is, the point of tools, like in civilization, is to, in some way, um, increase the productivity of our output. And so, you know, like, you don't have to have, like, uh, um, a canal to deliver water. You could go to the river and you could get water yourself. But once you have a canal, you have some infrastructure. You can do things much faster than having to do things by hand every time. And so Vue is still just JavaScript, right? It is JavaScript. We're not doing anything that you couldn't technically do in JavaScript. Um, but we are using JavaScript facilities. We are using things that have been written for us in such a way that were designed to be both efficient for the computer, but more importantly, semantic for us as the user, right? As the developer. To be honest with you, to be frank, the developer experience, the experience of writing view applications is like surprisingly like light. It's surprisingly nice. Um, sometimes when you start using a tool, you can feel the weight of it. You can feel like the tremendous like learning curve. And so Vue does have a learning curve, but you can use it increasingly, right? You don't have to, like with, I've tried React and I didn't love it and I might change my mind, but I don't think I will. React has a pretty significant learning curve. I mean, React as a whole is a pretty small, um, it's like small in the sense of like how you use it, but you have to download NPM and install it and there's a build process and while you can use Vue with a build, with a build process, you don't have to. So what I'm going to show you everything, I think everything that I'll show you today, you should be able to just do it in the browser using JavaScript or whatever. You don't need to sort of like understand the command line and all that stuff. So this is really targeted for beginners or even people with knowledge of HTML and CSS that basically want to like add like a jetpack to their their like their like programming abilities. Okay, so so real quick, why is Vue a good idea at all? Right? Why are we here participating in this? And the thing is, um, it's like really productive. That's probably the simplest way that I would put it. So like you can use Vue as like an add-on to HTML and CSS. You don't like you don't need Vue to just like make web apps. You can use Vue to make websites um, because you can think about websites more as like in terms of like if statements, right? You can do like ifs and fors, and you can do things that are 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 like much more like programming. Um, but you can do them like you can write websites much more intuitively, like much more intuitively because you don't have to hard code everything. So like here's the, the example that I was trying to explain before the this, this stream sort of like freaked out on us. Uh, if it freaks out again, just let me know. So here's the point, right? We have, basically, this is the entry point for our application. This is like where everything starts. It doesn't start in the body, it's gonna start in the main. Now this doesn't have to be main, it could be div, it could be span, but you shouldn't do that. Um, the point is, we have to have some place for our sort of view to take place, right? View being spelled V-U-E, but think of it as a view, right? It's like a way of seeing things. Um, 
Okay, so right, the example was, let's say you have a blog post, and in the blog post, you have a header. So you'd be like, this is my blog post. That's wonderful, right? And then you have like your paragraph with all the text. So the example before was something like this. Now, if you are getting into HTML and CSS for the first time, or if you've been doing it for a while, you might get used to sort of like hard coding everything. Hard code, right, like literally hard code. You're, you're probably getting used to uh, like just typing all the values in and not worrying about anything else, which is like fine. It's fine, there's nothing wrong with this. But it's not the most productive way to do this. Because like, let's say you have a ton of paragraphs and you're like, oh, you decide to like change something and then, wait a minute, you have to change it everywhere, right? Um, it can start to get like really unmanageable to hard code the data to your website. The data, I mean, you can think of the data as like this abstract thing, right? So the data is the information of my website. I don't have to put it into the template of my website so I can separate them. So here's how I can do that. So this is where my application basically starts and then I need to give it an ID. So the ID, I could actually name it anything I want, right? But I can also just leave it as app, which is a bit more idiomatic. That's how you're going to see view apps written. Then we need to basically say that this is a view application. So we can add a script tag right here. And there are a ton of different SRCs or sources you can use to get the view package. But this is probably the shortest one that you can use, which means it's very sort of like user friendly. Now, for what it's worth, this is fetching the most recent version of, of the most recent version of View. So, if I open up like the browser and I go to here, it's grabbing View 2.5. Whoops, 2.5.16. So, the only reason you might not want to use this version is if something changes, it could break. Um, I'm not personally worried about that for now because we're just learning and I don't think we're going to do anything that will be like broken into the future, but just want to point that out uh, because this will be on YouTube and, and so on. So, okay, so we can then have everything inside of a script tag. Now, if you wanted to put your application in a separate file, you could do that like this or like anywhere for, for the fact. You could put like anywhere as the folder. But I'm going to put everything right in uh, here, right? So we have use strict at the top, which is just, it's not a view thing. It's a way to get JavaScript, the, like the JavaScript console to complain if you do something stupid. So JavaScript is a dynamic language that means that it's very flexible and you can do things that kind of doesn't make sense. Use strict will basically let you know if you're being like a little too crazy. Um, so you can use it in general, and I recommend it, like not just for Vue, but like in general if you're writing JavaScript applications, so there are less times that you lose your mind writing JavaScript. By the way, how are we doing on the stream? Are we, are we like, are we being smooth? Let me check. Yeah, I think it's okay. I think we're good. Hmm. Let me know, Nick, is this okay? Oh, let's go back to our app. Well, and the good thing is that the video is being recorded locally, which means I shouldn't have to worry too much about um, if stuff gets, well, I, kinda, I have to be careful. Just let me know if there's a problem. Uh, if there's a problem with Street, please let me know. Okay, so here we have two things that we can do. We can have, I mean, there's like a ton of things, so let me be careful what I say. Um, we're going to start with data, right? So, 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 like, here's the data of our application. Uh, so, this is a, a, a JavaScript object, and then inside of it, I'm going to have. I'm gonna have like two types of data. So I'll have like the title, and then I'll also have the, let's just say like the text. It could be anything. So we are coming up with this name, right? We're coming up with title and text, but we're not coming up with data. So data, that, that is chosen for us by view, but everything else we sort of can control what the name is. 
Um, yeah, so here, let me just change this and put that there. And then I'll change this and put this there. So now we've basically broken up our website by saying this can be better understood as the title of our website and this can be better understood as the text of our website. Now, if I go ahead and open this website, there's gonna be, um, it's not gonna work, unfortunately. So, it, I mean, it will very soon, I'm not just like trolling you, but like, here, view demo.html. <laughs> this looks terrible. So to get this to work, we have to do one more thing, which is we need to, we need to connect this to this, which currently is not happening. So all we need to do is EL is short for element, and we use element to basically describe, we're, we're saying which element does our app take place, right? So we can say our app is taking place at this um, ID. And so now if I fix that, it's, it's working, right? And that's really cool, right? We've just said, here's the text, or sorry, here's the title, here's the text, and now here is the data independent from my website, which is like amazing. Um, that's like just a really nice feature to have. So of course this isn't all that we can do with Vue, but it's, it's sort of the significance. Um, you can write things a bit more intuitively and flexibly. So like, I'll show you another example in a second. There was something else I wanted to do. Okay. Let me just check for questions. Okay, I think we're good. So what we can do is, like let's say I have like a lot of paragraphs. So like instead of, like instead of making this a paragraph, uh, paragraph, by the way, these are called handlebar or mustache syntax. So this is just like a printf and we use like a percent %s. It's kind of, it's kind of like that. So these have to be the, like the same name. Okay, so like what if I had multiple paragraphs? That sounds interesting. Like I don't just have one paragraph in my blog post because that'd be a terrible blog. But if I had multiple ones, so how I could do that is like this. Like let's say I can change this for like ipsum lorem in just a sec. So now I have two paragraphs, which means that this won't work. So let's try that. Does that? Uh, doesn't really work. What's wrong? Paragraphs at paragraphs. Yeah, and then let's just get rid of that. Is my internet working? Yeah, it's working. Okay, so I think I broke something. Oh, you know what I can do? So anytime you break something, um, it's actually good that this happened. Anytime that you break something, it's important that you know how to debug it. So what we can do is, first, I know that there's a problem. <laughs> Holy cow. I know that there's a problem because right now I'm getting title which is equivalent to if I just scrap this. If I don't have that, I'm gonna get the same thing, which is evidence that there is something wrong um, because it's literally printing out title and thus making us look like an idiot, right? So how do we fix it? So what I can do is I'll open up the, the developer tools and I'm gonna take a look inside of the code, inside of the output and double check what might be broken. So let's see. Yeah, the stream is still working. Okay, so let's see what happens. Refresh it. All right, this is one of the ways I can debug view. Now there is an extension I can use. Um, you go to like Chrome and you search like view debugger and then you can get this and install it, which is another way to debug it. Um, but I'm just gonna use this for now because it's actually an issue with our code. It's not an issue with view. Uh, so on line 39, whoops, on line 39 there was an issue. So that would be here. It's saying, hey, there's something wrong with this string. So unexpected template string. What does that mean? I think the thing is like, I think I need to have an array. So like, let me, like, I think I'm doing this wrong. Um, because this is an object, and an object needs to have both a key and a value. Right now I only have a value, right? Like this is the key, and then this is the value. And like looking at this, I don't have that. So what I can do is just say like paragraph, paragraph. Let's see if that fixes it. 
that fixed it. So <laughs> just, you know, living and learning with JavaScript. Now I could probably use an array instead, so I don't have to give it a key, but we'll just start here. Now let's say I want to iterate over each paragraph in my paragraphs. What I can do is do v4, and then I can say for, uh, I want to do like, is that the command v4? I think it's like this. And then I say like, I have to double check. Uh, it's like four paragraph in paragraphs. Let's just double check. For each paragraph in paragraphs, we're going to output paragraph. Let's see if that worked. No. So now we get nothing, which is another useful way for view to tell us that something is wrong. So this isn't a bad thing, right? Um, let's go to source it, console. Okay, it's saying, hey, yo, I don't know what v4 means. Okay, so what we can do is let's get the um, view mastery. So this is good. I like. I want to show you how to like debug things from scratch. View mastery is a website. It's like the official uh, like course development for Vue. Um, on Vue Mastery, there is a PDF that we can get that gives us sort of all the names of the things that we can do with Vue. So it's like a, it's a really good lookup guide. Okay, so I might need to move somewhere else. I think my computer's getting too hot again. This happened last time. Yeah, this is like totally unresponsive. Okay, we'll keep the uh, we'll keep it going. I'm just gonna move somewhere colder because I it's working now, but I'm a little suspicious right now. Let's do, uh, how's the stream? Are we okay, guys? Okay. Okay, so... Yeah, slightly laggy. Um, my feeling is that the computer is getting hot and it's diverting CPU to cool it down, which in return makes the computer slower, which in return, like, it's like this, like, loop. Um, let me move somewhere where there is, like, a lot of H uh, AC, and then we'll pick it up. I'll make sure that it's, like, quietish. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'll just be, like, a, another minute or so. Sorry about that.